Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today um, we're going to be installing our new head unit for the van. So the van's got a really old radio and we've always wanted to put in one of these um, you know, Android Auto touchscreens off Amazon, um, which are all Chinese and cheap. We wanted to spend quite a bit on one because you can get some that are low as like 40 quid. But I know they're going to be absolutely terrible. And then you can get some like Pioneer ones, which can be as high as like £500, which are the best ones to buy, and I do recommend them if you have the money. But um, there is some radios that are in the middle, um, which is what we went for, you know. We went for a, a bit of balance of quality and um, cheapness. So this one I bought off of Amazon. It was it's called Hi Kitty. Um, <laughs> not to be mistaken with Hello Kitty. Um, so yeah, it's just a, a Chinese one, but it's a bit better quality than the really cheap ones. And um, it comes with a seven-inch display, which is HD, and I believe that's only 720p HD, but it's better than nothing. And the main thing is with it, it comes with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And your phone can just seamlessly connect to it via Bluetooth and opens Google Maps. And it's easy as that, just like having a new touchscreen in a brand new car. Um, so, yeah, it's much better than having a you know a car with a really old built-in um, navigation system, which is so outdated. But this one is up to date and it's brilliant. So I bought it for, um, well, it was £100, but they were doing a discount. So I got another... Fifteen pounds off of it, so I only got it for eighty-five quid. So I thought that was quite a good deal. And I have to say, after a few weeks of use, it has been really, really good. Um, there's been no crashes. It's quite fast, to be honest with you, for how much gigabyte of RAM it has. I think it has about one gigabyte of RAM, maybe two. Um, it's about sixty watts of power it uses. But Hi Kitty seem to do a lot of. Um, radios on their Amazon page and there's so much to choose from it's some of them aren't really much different but you just pick your preference and which one you like and I like this one because you can adjust the radio manually and not like original iDrive in BMWs where you had to spin that little wheel and go in the menu and just to turn the radio down so I wanted something you know quick that I can do while I'm driving and still looking at the road. Although it doesn't have great reviews on Amazon, there isn't many people who have reviewed it, and I don't think there's any other videos on it on YouTube. So I think this might be one of the first videos on a high kitty stereo, and from what I can recommend as so far, it's, it's pretty good actually. Um, and in this whole video we're going to go through um, installing the reversing camera it comes with. Um, which I was always afraid to do because I never really knew what to do but now I do and I'm going to show you guys how to do it um, and also installing the radio itself it's fairly simple um, if you've got a modern car that just comes with clips that clip into the back of the radio but with this Pozo Boxer it's hardwired into the old radio so we have to cut the wires and join them up all manually and it gets a bit messy um, but we'll show you what the positive and negative wires are on the Peugeot Boxer if you've got that. Um, so yeah, hopefully you can follow this video and um, yeah, do it yourself. But first I'd like to give a little introduction to the radio, just because I know that's what you guys are first here for, to hear about the radio before you even buy it. Um, so the installing it will come after that. So this is the stereo unit. Um, I bought this off Amazon for £100. Got fifteen pound off it as well, so it made eighty five pound. It's not in correctly yet. I need to sort it out, but we've got it working. Um, just want to show you a few things you can do with it. You press this button, you go in the settings. It's touch screen as well. Seems pretty responsive. It's only got about one gigabyte of RAM, so it's going to be quite slow. Got all sorts on here. Um, Reversing new on, I don't know what that does. Driving band video. It's not even spelt right. Animation. Um, got your two of the regions here, Europe we're in of course. The wheel, we don't have any steering wheel controls so that doesn't matter to us. Um, got a sound set up here. 
I don't know how to change the bass yet. I've tried all these and it doesn't really do anything. But the only one that does work is loudness up here. <laughs> that seems to up the bass by too much though. So you've got your presets here. Um, display settings. You can change all the brightness and contrast. You change. You got a few backgrounds to choose from here. See. I like this one because it most looks like a car. Um, got language, of course, it's gonna be English. Set your time. And yeah, that's what you can do in the settings. You got all these things. You got you can put an SD card in. Oh, where's the head there? You've got USB you can plug in here. It's a reversing camera. Isn't it? Reversing cameras here. Obviously, you have to put it in reverse. There you go. Not very good quality. It's only 40p. That's alright, dude. But it, it? you can see. <laughs> um, yeah, you got your Bluetooth. Easily connect your phone to it, and then as soon as you turn this on, it will connect to your phone straight away. Um, so yeah, clock, calendar, setup, and that's all the basics really. But you really want it for the phone link, which is so you press this, and you got all your apps here. All the apps that are supported, I guess, on your phone, they go straight onto here because this is Android Auto. So it connects to your phone and uses your phone's internet and all that lot. Um, so you've got all sorts of apps. And then you've got your navigation, of course, which is what this uses for. And this connects straight to my Google account. So it's connected to my phone. And if we zoom out, you can see if it loads. There's all my parking spots. <laughs> <laughs> all the love hearts. Yeah. And you, yeah. Search from wherever you want to go. Work. So, Dad's going now. 48 minutes. Mm. That's a bit better than two and a half hours. So yeah, it's a great little stereo. Um, yeah, you got your radio, but we. I haven't connected the radio yet. I wanted to get one of this because you can easily just change the volume. Um, like I say, we haven't and, uh, attached our antenna yet because we need a you need an ISO, ISO to DIN adapter for this. Um, but all the ones in the UK are DIN, but this is an ISO, so you need a little adapter, two pound. We need to get that at some point. But yeah, it doesn't have a automatic screen. You have to do this. One thing I will say is I think the screen does stay on, which is wasting a lot of power. Yeah, and you get a little uh, microphone with it as well, so you can make calls. So we can call someone if we wanted to, and this just goes straight to my phone and calls it via my phone. Let's go the contacts. Yeah. The van in reverse, so we could see which light that we need to wire into for reverse so you may see a few clips that i have actually reused since the last video of us installing the parking sensors it's because we have to wire both the reversing camera and the parking sensors into the reverse light now which one is the reversing light i have to look online because i think we can put this tester in and i'll turn the reverse light on this one. i can't get in there no, still can't get in there. You can find all the information you want, guys, for a two, uh, post-2006 one. You can't find anything about a Mark 1 pre-2006. So, we have to cut the wire. Turn the reverse off now. Mm. So, someone said it was a thick white wire on the newer ones so I said there's a thick white wire on that one let me try that let's take it out of reverse it's out Drops. that's the white one good first wire we cut that's brilliant here in it comes with a reversing camera which we need to wire into the reverse light as well so um I get that out find the negative we're just gonna assume it's the black one 
You have to put the reverse and cap thing back on now. Okay. Yeah. I'm completing the circuit. Oh, good. Battery's low. Oh, it might be power drop. It's probably power drop because it's coming away from the back. Found a spot to one run the wire through. In here. Little gap. Mm. There we go. So here's, this is the length for the uh, wire we get. Um, it's fine for a car, yeah. But we want it up there. Above the brake light. All below it. Not enough wire. Dad's had to go back and look for some wire. Hopefully we've got some spare wire. We've got that extra cable now. Just uh, join them up with some spade things. Screwed this universal uh, light uh, so we can run the wire through there. Hopefully, we can, if we screw it down tight enough, we can clamp and mount the camera as well so we don't have to screw into the van. Can you see the outside through there? Yeah. Mm, that's easy. Reversing camera is out there now. I've got the wires through behind this bit of plastic. Just, I think I'll probably run the wires along this gasket behind her, down to there. So we just run that wire underneath here, underneath this gasket here. Um, and now, just running it along this <laughs> one, up to the roof. Well, we've wired it all up now, um, run it through this thing. We've got a, we're gonna wire, See about my bloody glasses. This red one into that one. We just connect to the re reversing light. So this little red wire coming off here is our trigger wire and we need to wire that in to the red wire coming from the reversing light. So it triggers the camera to turn on. Hopefully that works. That's how you do it then guys, you wire that red one into your, your black one as well. The red one goes into the power cable off that. And mm. that kick starts the camera. Otherwise the camera doesn't know you've selected reverse really. The only other way to do it is to go into the gearbox sense thing cable at the front. But... Just screw the top uh, brake light in and the camera and it stays there. You can slide it around but it's not going to come out. So it's wedged in there. So that's brilliant. Brilliant news, Jill. <laughs> So, next job is this and stereo. The 6 b 9s need to go in. This there. is a, a, a high kitty stereo off of Amazon. Who? Cheap Chinese one. Uh, was supposed to be £100, I got £15 off. There's a screen, 7 inch screen that flips out here. But I wanted one that still had radio controls so you could easily turn down the volume without going into the settings. Um, because otherwise I could have just got one that was just a screen and this flips back so if it was just a screen someone might you know, have incentive to break in but if they just see that they're not going to bother i take this old really rubbish one out let's begin then, shall we? What? oh my god oh, seems like I don't like already what's the matter? hasn't got the thing has it? The block? The blocks. Ah. Oh. What? It hasn't got the block. Hang on, what's this then? I think it comes with one so you can wire it. That's ignition. Just find out what the wires do at the moment. So we've got to find out on here because it you say orange is, one's ignition, do you? Yeah, this is Chinese and that's French, so. And what's probably. the constant one? Red. Constant is no. What? Red is continuous. Yeah. yeah. Trying to find it on here. Steering wheel power supply. Yellow. So that needs to go to the orange. That yellow one there. Just joining these wires up to this block now because it's French, so they don't plug in and out. <laughs> They're just hardwired into the radio. God, that cock was annoying. That's connected up right. Good. 
So we have no constant on uh, radio because... We're going to have to get some fuses now, we ain't got any spare. The fuse is blown apparently. For the constant on for the radio. We're just uh, trying to finish our new stereo head unit. Just got to wire it all up. It comes with a little handy diagram. So because the, the colours are completely different than the van. Yeah, of course they are. And this van doesn't come with a modern harness. So uh, we got the new fuse. Remember the fuse was blown. 15 amp fuse in. We've got to put that in. Um, so we just wired up the main battery wire, which supplies it with 12 volt power. <laughs> Got a pack of these joiners to join the wires together. They aren't the best in the world, but they do the job. No. <laughs> See? Oh, hold on, there's nothing there now. Oh! I got power! Yeah. There you go. As you can see that transparent blue 15 amp one I just put in is the radio one, if you're interested. Put it in the right spot. It's lit up now. There you go. How do you flip out then? No, no. Oh, power, there you go. <sighs> What's the matter now? Just blew it right in my face. I didn't. There you go, it looks like you have to pull it out. I don't know, you might not have to, just at the moment. Looks like you do. You to turn it off. Now we've got to wire up all these uh, speakers. You've got the scissors? I've just taken off this speaker, look how it's degrading and falling apart because it's so old. Um, so we've got two wires going in, a pink and a purple. Made in Italy. Hmm, There's no pink and purple here. Oh. I'm fucking stupid. What about behind it? So you can find out which speakers are which wires. So you can hear interference. So that's that one. And oh, no, that's this one here. So we just need to find the negatives. So let's see what the Just standing here so we can hear the speakers. Dad. Just wiring up all these speakers now. It's all coming together. We're getting there. But, uh, yeah, see, see I mean. these clamps are rubbish. Oh. They're all going to come off eventually. Stop yeah. that happening. So I'm trying to use some electrical tape to stop them slipping off. So yeah. just running in this microphone wire because it comes with a microphone because you make calls so with it. So put the tray on, it gets cool. That red wire. So here's our cable for our reversing camera. We, uh, we put it in here. Let's see the diagram shows us. And then this red wire you need to connect to the pink wire, as you can see by the diagram. Here we go. Look. Yes, That's and it even. Is. And it even cuts out Android Auto, so that's perfect. That bloody spider. <laughs> I've got to turn it upside down now as well. It's the wrong way around, see? You're in now. I see. God, it's hot. So, when you flip it upside down, it, you can't bend it down. So I have to take these screws out so I can... Oh, okay. <laughs> Do it that way. Josh is at the back sorting out the camera to get it straight. You can see his hand there. It's gone up the right way around now and they put it in the factory. They put it they put it in the harness upside down. So everything the image was upside down. Oh 
There we go. The fasten camera is in and works. So here is the ISO to DIN adapter or ISO to whatever, the other way around. As you can see, this is a different plug for your antenna. This is your UK one. Exactly. Obviously right it doesn't there. clip onto there. So we need this adapter. Just plug into here. Costs about five pounds for one of these or three pounds for two. So and then that will just clip onto this. And that just clips onto that. Right, so and now our radio should work. And as you can see, the radio is now working. I can't keep these songs on for very long. It's a really difficult one, Rich, and I'm really sorry to hear. God, can you put it in there? I'm gonna get it sorted out. Take it to there the. There go. Oh, there's a camera. Take it to Steve and get him to sort out the linkages and that. That's the branches. Oh. There's a little girl screaming. She likes that, doesn't she? Mm. All right, so that is our Hi Kitty um, seven-inch touchscreen uh, Android Auto stereo installed. Um, went fairly well. Um, we just had a few niggly problems along the way. Like, um, I definitely recommend getting proper um, wire joiners, uh, like little blocks, not the ones we had. So. Hopefully, it's been alright um, for the time being. It hasn't come unconnected any of the wires. But, yeah, hopefully they will stay connected. Um, so, yeah, it was fairly difficult, but that's because it's a Peugeot box. It's a French, <laughs> French van. So, um, everything's a bit more complicated in French vehicles, isn't it? So, But we got there in the end, and I hope you guys um, have learned something from this video, because I know there's this is probably the only video on YouTube of someone installing a aftermarket Android Auto stereo into a Peugeot Boxer Mark 1. So I hope this video did help the, that niche audience who uh, are looking to do the same as I did. And I do definitely recommend it. I don't recommend going for the lower price 40 quid, 50 quid ones. Just stay away from them. I can imagine they're absolutely terrible. This is a perfect middle ground um, from your, you know, pioneers and everything like that. Um, the only thing I do recommend is buy yourself an ISO adapter, as I mentioned in the video earlier. It doesn't come with one, um, because the radio is ISO itself, it's not DIN, because it comes from China. Uh, but they don't supply you with an adapter, which is a, the only annoying thing, really. But it comes with everything else, and um, yeah, I, I, I can't say much bad about it at the moment. It's going brilliantly, yeah, I love it, it's great. And without further ado, hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like, helps me out a lot, and subscribe. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one where we try to remove this nasty little speed restrictor. And it's a juicy one, trust me. It get, there's some twists and turns in this story. You're not going to want to miss the next video. Alright, bye bye.